What is the position of Ohanez and Digbo? I know that you are not the general spokesperson for Ohanez and Digbo. Exactly. But w w what is the position of Ohanez and Digbo on the happenings in the Southeast? In, we are not happy with what is going on. Ohanez and Digbo was well represented at the meeting they had. Um, our PG and uh, some other national officers of Ohanez were there at the meeting and they submitted the, a report a report on, you know, the crisis mm. to the governor's forum, which okay. the governor said they're going to study. Okay. The position of Ohaneze is that we shouldn't bring war to our doorsteps. Mm. Mm. Uh, you know, there's a saying in Igbo language that uh, mm. one that kills his brother wouldn't say that he's a champion. Mm. Champion over what? You know, we have been under siege. Are you saying that Igbos are killing themselves? I am not saying that Igbos are killing themselves, but Nigerians are killing themselves mm. to a mm. large extent. Mm. So let me not just point it down to Igbos. Okay. There have been a lot of, of accusation and counter accusation and denials over whom the unknown government are. The um, IPOBs are saying that they have cancelled the sit at home orders. They have come out publicly to say that the unknown gunman has nothing to do mm. with IPOB mm. and uh, the ESNs. So the question now is, whom are the unknown gunmen? Who are they? Who are they? So now it's left to the hands of the security. Here, how, how, how do, oh, oh, Mr. Everest, please hold on. What do you mean by it's left in the hands of security agencies? How about the people of the Southeast? Why, why is nobody saying anything as to the identity of these boys who will attack shop owners, business owners, once they open up their shops. Um, still today, it's still back and forth as to who exactly is responsible for the mayhem in the South. Why, why is it so difficult? I say it is left to the hand of the securities. And why I say that is this. When you go out on the streets or when you go to the social media yes. to talk, yes. and by that submissions you end up putting yourself and your families in mm. danger mm. you wouldn't be encouraged to do more mm. uh, you, you just talk about uh, uh, mr joey Bukwe, yes whose house was invaded or whose house was set oh, ablaze that's right what caused that probably because he the the, the kind of releases we we've been witnessing coming from him so the level of condemnation from him mm. so you, you know there is uh, a lot of apprehension in the southeast already. So pe people are not, people, people, are, people not are not, free. people are not talking be because they are afraid of their safety, of for their safety. Exactly. So, it so it's, it's not that we don't know these people. It's not that we don't know. The governors, mind you, they have their daily briefings of security situations mm. across board, and um, based on such informations, they must have um, a link. Okay. They must have a connection. They must have a direct, yes, direct connection. Yes. But when we have security that is going to assure the people, right. not by what, but by being there for them. Hmm. People, listen, it was, we don't wait for government to provide for us. We build our hospitals. We build our roads. Hmm. We build our schools. We've been built police stations. We build hmm. our courtrooms, hmm. you know, to make sure that our zone, you know, remains the best. Developed. Well, developed. We, are, we, we, we have this program of trying to bring uh, industrialized the Southeast zones. Mm. We want the Southeast zone to be what California is for Americans. We want the Southeast zone to be what Hamburg is for Germany. Mm. You know, but we can't achieve anything without having security. Yes, our brothers should know there is no place like home. There is nowhere you can enjoy a maximum freedom than in your own homes. And when that home is put in shambles, remember, we have this concept that we are being chased away from the outside. Mm. How are we going to be chasing ourselves away from our own homes? Where are we going to call our homes? If we bring down the southeast today, where else are we going to call our home? Where else are we going to even call the Biafran land? If all of Biafra is insurgency, if all of Biafra is tyrannic, uh, you know, leadership. Mm. So we should please, please make sure that we have peace. Mm. Make sure that we give peace a chance. Our children missed the exams during the last YEC examinations. Mm. 
The WIAC is saying they're going to give them a second chance to take that exam. But the question now is, are we going to give them a second chance, our own selves, that they're going to go out and take the exams? Mm. What happens if that exam comes up on Monday? Mm. Are they going to suffer the same fate? And peradventure, they miss out totally in the, in the examination. That means they'll have one year to stay because of sit-at-home orders. There is a need for us to have a retrospective thinking. There is a need for us to think before we take some certain actions. Mm. You were talking about um, uh, my, 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 the question about um, uh, Professor George uh, being tagged a northern candidate. Uh, yes, uh, you know, during the, that election. Yes. And, um, I, we are blessed. I, are, you, are you in bed with IPOB? We are not in bed with IPOB. But at the same time, he said it that they are our children, they are our sons. Mm. And he cannot deny. Um, no father will ever deny his children, but will always correct mm. and correct. Mm. Um, talking about um, Namde Kano, of course, mm. Namde Kano is a factor okay. in everything that is being said about uh, this agitation. And if you can remember, at the first court sitting yeah. where he was supposed to be at the court, Ohaneze sent their lawyers. Mm. Ohaneze sent a delegation led by the former governor of Anambra State, okay. you know, uh, uh, Ezife, you know, His Excellency Okwadike Ezife was there. Mm. Um, Barista Godi Uwazulike was there as a lawyer representing Ohaneze. Mm. And after that, after that, he made um, a world press conference. Mm -hmm. So we are concerned about um, what is happening to Nandikalu. Kalu.